What is SAP S4 HANA FSCM? Financial Supply Chain Management. It's all about generating and utilization of cash. FSCM is used for managing all the financial aspects cash liquidity regarding supply chain, which is related to material movements means matching supply with demands. It can be purchasing, storing, or selling. It's all about demand and supply means which material is in demand and whether we are right supplier, for that or not. Main areas of FSCM include 1. Credit Management 2. Biller Direct 3. Collection Management 4. Disputes Management 5. Cash Management Powered by HANA 6. Treasury and Risk Management 7. Bank Communication Management 8. In-house Cash What is Credit Management? Credit management is used to analyze our customers and how much credit we can provide to our customers. It's all depending on customers' credit rating and its behavior in the market. What is Biller Direct? Biller Direct is used to deliver sales invoices to customers. It is online portal where customer can log in to watch all due invoices. They can watch all payment history, total due amount, last payment made, customer reminders, order history, etc. What is collections management? Collection management is used for reminding and collecting the payment from customers. What is disputes management? Disputes management is used to resolve issues between invoice amount and agreed amount. What is cash management powered by HANA? Cash management powered by HANA is used to know the cash position of entity at any point of time whether sufficient cash is available or not. What is Treasury and Risk Management? Treasury and Risk Management is used for borrowing and investment management. What is Bank Communication Management? Bank Communication Management is used for communication of SAP. With banking system it is not used only for collecting bank statements but also used for vendor payment management, which includes DME and electronic bank statement management. What is in-house cash management? In-house cash management is used to deal banking transactions centrally. In this case, one virtual bank account is set up and all the transactions are managed through this account despite we have multiple accounts in multiple banks. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe my channel. Hassan Askari